You know, what leads me to another question. You know, for, for a season manager like yourself, or even when you was coming up, what is your pitch? H- how do you get these artists? Is it referrals? Are you are you actively seeking them out? How, how, how does any manager acquire, acquire real talent? So as a manager, there's a couple of different ways. Um, some managers are really close to like a and is in the head of the label. And so they recommend, as they get ready to sign somebody, they might recommend. Um, a lot of times lawyers are going to like recommend you or put you in a room to, to see. Um, sometimes producers be like, yo, I got this artist. I need some help. Can you help me do it? And so a lot of your work is referrals. Sometimes it's you hearing about an artist or seeing an artist and you reaching out to them. Um, so I never take artists from anybody. So if I hear about you and you got an artist, I'm not, you know, if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Sometimes I reach out, might be interested, and I see the talent and see what's up, and then that's it. Um, the pitch changes. When I was at Flavor Unit, the pitch was we are Flavor Unit. That was enough of a pitch. Um, when I started Family Tree, I had Outcast and I had Donnell, and I had Reputation, and I knew everybody because I'd been – Flavio in on the road and stuff. So I was I was the hot dude. And so lawyers and labels and people were calling me. Um, as you get really big, sometimes you don't get as many calls because people see your company's crowded. Like it's a cycle you go through. You start as a little manager, you got one or two artists, then you mess around and get really hot, then you got a dozen artists, but now you're paying you're paying attention to the top two or three that are paying the bills, and the bottom three are the ones that want the most attention, um, because they want to be the top three. And eventually that's how management companies fall off or they lose clients. Um, and then sometimes you experience a fall off and then you have to get on the phone, call lawyers, call business managers, call people and be like, yo, I'm looking for some new artists. If anybody crosses your path that you think like our styles might match and you go. In terms of my pitch, my pitch arrogantly at this point is I'm who I am. You know who I am. You can see what I've done. I also can tell an artist, if you check my clients in my roster, none of my artists have ever had to sell out. You know, you've seen them artists have ever had to give up, like, their vision. CeeLo was able, I put CeeLo on the stage in a fucking bird suit. Like, creatively, rock with me, we're going to get your vision. It's going to be as close to your vision as you want it to be. Um, I'm never going to ask you to sell out. Um, but I also think because I started and I've touched every part of this job, every aspect of, of management and I've been doing it long enough that if I sit with an artist and we can connect, I'm pretty confident usually that I will get that artist. That's just who I am. I believe that if you put me in a room with any artist that's honestly looking for good management, I can get them. If you, if you, if there's no one hating on me after I leave the room, because sometimes the production company hates Lawyer might be mad because I like we had got to fight over an artist. You got since you can't control, you can't control. But pound for pound, if you put me in a room with any other manager to try and get an artist, I feel I'm as good as anybody in the game. Only person that I got to be like, God damn it, is Irving. Anybody else, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I was white, I'd be. If I was white, I'd be Scooter Braun and Irving is off with the things that I've done in this game. And I'm not. I'm a six five black tall. man that don't play the games, and I'm not going to be played with. So I'm nowhere near, and I threaten people like we talked about. I'm a threat. Every people, for some reason, we seem locked in giving out these predatory deals to artists, and I'm going to break that deal up. If I manage your artist and you gave him a whack deal, I'm going to get, once we get some success, I'm coming back in, and I'm getting them off this fuck contract. That's what I've been telling you. That's who I am. So if you're a production company and you know all your contracts are whack, you're never going to call me. So I'm never going to manage artists for certain labels and places because you know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm fine with that. I'd rather that be my reputation than to be somebody knowing that the, that the labels can manipulate and control and sell his artists out. Fuck that. I'm not who that is. Like you, we're from the Bronx. That ain't who we do. That's not how we do shit. So That's right. at the end of the day, I have to always be able to go back to the Bronx. That's always been my driving force. If everything in this industry went wrong, I can always go back to Cedric Avenue. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move.
catch you all on the next video.